Hi, I'm Peter Smock. Welcome to another edition of The Life Athlete. Hey, I'm excited to be here and to share with you some ideas, concepts, um, ways in which will help you, whether you're a high-level athlete, you're a weekend warrior, or you just want to be in a capable body that feels better for the rest of your life. I want to share with you some secrets that uh, high-level athletes use to help them increase their performance, uh, to recover faster, and just basically feel better on a more consistent basis so their performance is consistent and stable and, uh, and sustainable. The key is that, and it's really important to know this, is that all of these ideas and methods that these athletes use, the ones that really get it, uh, and there aren't that many actually, but those that do find out uh, that this really works and that's what you'll find out as well. So no matter what level you are, if you apply some of these uh, ideas and methods I'm about to share with you, um, I think you'll really find them to be helpful. Here's one of the big problems. This comes up all the time. How much is enough? You see people working out and they just don't know, you know, should I be pushing this hard? Should I be pushing that hard? Uh, does it have to be hard to be good? You know, there are lots of training systems out there today that are getting a, a lot of recognition. And it's all about this six-week plan, the six-month plan, the six-minute plan, the six-second plan. And it's all about high intensity going until you can't do anymore. You know, that just doesn't work. So what I'm going to share with you is how much to do relatively on a consistent basis so that you can sustain fitness and performance for the rest of your life. So I wanted to quote from a couple people that, that I think know something about this. The first one is uh, a guy that wrote a book called Jogging, Bill Bowerman. He was my coach uh, at the uh, University of Oregon. He was also the U.S. Olympic coach in 1972. So Bill kind of started the, the jogging craze back in the uh, mid-60s. And here's something that he says. And this is what he told all of us athletes as well while we were at the uh, University of Oregon. Train, don't strain. Never go all out. Avoid overtraining. So, I mean, that's key. Avoid daily strenuous jogging. I mean, he's saying it right there. Don't go all out. Um, if I didn't learn that from Bill, uh, heaven knows where I would have gotten in terms of my pursuit towards an Olympic team. That was really crucial, and it's crucial to people on a day-to-day -day basis to know that this idea that they have in their heads, uh, if they're a professional runner or professional cyclist, that they have to go hard all the time, that, you know, somewhere, you know, somebody else is working harder than I am, so I've got to catch up. I've got to do more every single day. That's a fallacy. That's a myth. And it, in, in terms of long-term, being uh, in, a, in a body that's, uh, that feels good, performs better for decades, uh, that simply uh, won't work. So another gentleman, Haruki Murakami, he did uh, write a book called What I Talk About When I Talk About Running. He was an avid runner, ran every single day. So here's something that he says in his book that I, th I think is really interesting. Sometimes I run fast when I feel like it, but if I increase the pace, I shorten the amount of time I run. The point being to let the exhilaration I feel at the end of each run carry over to the next day. With writing, he says he does exactly the same thing. He feels that he can write more at the end of the day. That's when he stops. So oftentimes we think about working out being uh, for that day only, but what he's saying is that that particular workout uh, and that particular run for him uh, leads him to the next day. If you're always working hard, you're going to have more injuries, you're going to get your cortisol levels up, that's the, that's the stress level uh, of hormones in your, in, in, in your body, you don't want that. You want to recover within the next 24 hours, 48 if you've had a really hard workout, but you don't push it to the max where you're aching and sore for days on end. That just simply is, is a myth of how to get to your fitness goals that's, uh, that's out there in every, every place we look in our, in our culture. 
not just in terms of physical fitness. So the, the last one I want to read to you is by a, a, another uh, coach in the, uh, in, the, in the field of track and field. This guy um, was in the 60s and 70s, one of the great sprint coaches. His name was Bud Winters. He was at uh, San Jose State, had a lot of great sprinters under his tutelage. He said, the way to run faster is with only four-fifths effort. Just take it nice and easy. I'll repeat that. Just take it nice and easy. Going all out is counterproductive. You know, it's amazing, and I love this, when, it, when you can kind of find people's thoughts in various, um, in various disciplines, if you will, um, that kind of point in the same direction. Uh, so while you might think that every day needs to be hard uh, in your training, uh, or in your whole life, for that matter. It simply isn't the case. If you go to four-fifths effort uh, maximum, what I say is 80% is all you need to, to do in terms of effort. Less than that is okay, too, depending on how you feel. Always leave something left. If you can go 100%, back it off. That's called building your energy reservoir so the next day you feel great. So don't buy into the concept that you have to go hard every single day. Matter of fact, if you go hard, 80% level is the way to go. As they've said, going all out is counterproductive. If you want a sustainable way of being fit, of performing more, you need to know that you don't have to go hard all the time. And basically, you need to rest more. Work plus recovery equals feeling better equals performing better. This is the way of the life athlete for the rest of your life. Go forth and move, exercise, don't take it too far, effort but not to exhaustion, and uh, remember, take good care of yourself.